you're here. Um, well, so last night we enjoyed a great uh, film festival with The Imitation Game. And I didn't want to miss it, so I've stuck around to see Adrian Ludwig from Google for the keynote stage first thing this morning. So let's get on with day three from Trust Tech. Well, one of our big speakers here at Trust Tech today in the, on the keynote stage was Adrian Ludwig from Google. And uh, how important is it for you to be here speaking at Trust Tech? I think one of the things that we're really focused on in Android is making sure that people understand um, the security benefits that the platform provides. And this is a great audience for us to reach out to and help make sure that that information is available. Uh, you've just given a great speech on the keynote stage. Can you summarize it into the main trends that you're looking at these days? I think most of the mobile operating systems at this point have a great security track record. Um, technology that's available even on a very low-end consumer device are leaps and bounds over what we've seen on previous platforms and desktop and those kinds of environments. Um, the future is really about services and making security information uh, easily digested and able to be consumed by applications so that those applications can be more secure themselves. Um, that's, that's what we see as the future. Well, here at Trust Tech, we have the startup and fintech area. And for today's startup, I'm speaking with Robin Jensen from Gambit. So Robin, can you tell us what you're here presenting? We're here to present Birdie, uh, which is our uh, robo-advisor solution. Absolutely. People, people are wanting to have less and less interaction directly with their bank. Uh, they're more comfortable being able to do a certain number of things online uh, at a time of day when the bank's not usually open. Um, so um, we, we're not trying to, uh, to take clients away from banks. We, we, uh, we live from the banks. So we're offering this solution to banks so that they can um, have a, a way of attracting and keeping new clients. Nigel Dean from Spire Payments is one of the exhibitors here at Trust Tech. And Nigel, can you start by telling us what Spire Payments are doing here at, at Trust Tech? Spire Payments, let me explain first. We're one of the leading fintech payment solution providers in Europe. And what we do is we provide a suite of solutions, that's both hardware and software, to enable merchants and large retailers to take payment. And also beyond payment, additional functionality such as loyalty, um, stock control, finance control, etc., etc. And uh, what are you seeing as the trends in this area? Okay, without doubt, MPOS is gaining a lot of traction. But what I would say is the latest um, technology shift is definitely towards Android-based POS terminals. And the reason for that is it provides a canvas for application developers to bring value-add sort of additions for the merchant and consumer alike. Spire Payments have always supported CART and Trustec, and we find this is probably the, the key event of the year, and we always have a very large present here, and we always do a lot of business, so it's key for us to have a presence. Well, I'm very pleased to be in the company of Claire Dudelongshaw, uh, the event director for Trust Tech. Claire, the, the 2016 Trust Tech has been a great success, hasn't it? Yes, it has. I can say that we may have 15,000 attendees for this year, which is a great success for us. It's your first time here in Cannes, so uh, what did you think about that? We wanted to find a place where when you go out after the show, you could find a nice place to sit with your customers, nice place to enjoy, nice place to have fun. You can make business everywhere here and that's what is great. And you've had um, a lot of newcomers exhibiting here from all over the world. Yes, you're right. We have this year 130 new company exhibiting here for the first time, so that's great. We have people from all over the world and from the visitor's side or the attendee side, um, we have one, nearly 130 countries. That industry has always been global, so we just reflect how, the, how global the industry is. And moving forward, what do you see happening for 2017? More business, uh, more uh, fun, and more people, for sure. Well, that's it for Trust Tech 2016. We hope you've enjoyed the coverage and everything the show has had to offer. And finally, I'm going to get to go on the stage at the Palida Festival in Cannes. But this isn't the place to say goodbye. 
this is where we say goodbye from Trust Tech. See you next year. Au revoir.